Now this is a bot who likes to broaden his horizons. <laughs> Not really. Hey! What's up my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the G1 Broadside. So here we are, and there he is, and usually, first and foremost, I would take a quick look at the packaging, but I don't have the original packaging for this guy, but I do have, uh, I have, I have an empty box of, uh, sweet and sour chicken. Yay! What? Moving right along, here we have G1 Broadside, and I finally found one on eBay for a reasonable price. That was complete. Do you know how hard that is? Very, very hard, but I did it. I did it. I finally have a G1 Broadside. But before we talk about the figure, let's bring in the all-wise, the all-knowing, the all-powerful, the Transformers a Bible. The Transformers Identification and Price Guide by Mark Belemo. And if we open our Bibles to page 95, here we have Broadside. His function, air and sea assault. His motto, I like the sea far away and my feet on the ground. Doesn't like transforming into carrier or jet. Gets seasick on water. Has fear of heights. <laughs> he picked the perfect alt modes then, huh? Effective, valiant warrior, but other Autobots wish he wouldn't gripe so much. Expands to 1,200 feet length as carrier, capable of landing jets and carrying other Autobots. 15,000 mile range, 40 knots maximum speed. Projects 80,000 volt electric field around himself in jet mode. Has high energy plasma pulse gun and shattering vibro axe in robot mode. So now that we know a little bit more about the character, there's still some other things I want to show off before uh, we get to the figure itself. Um, I did also get his instruction sheet. Yay, I have his original instructions. That's cool. And I also got this. Remember this? I got the checklist. I also got the checklist. I got to show this off. So this is cool. Remember the checklist? Oh, the checklist. Look at this. Look at all these wonderful figures you could buy. And you had your checklist there for Heroic Autobots. Evil Decepticons. Look at that. Look at, look, oh, look at all this goodness. Look at all this goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's the Evil Decepticons. And on the other side, oh, look at that. And on the other side, the Heroic Autobots. Oh, it's wonderful. So broadside is number... What? 39. He's number 39. There we go. He's number 39 on the checklist. In case anybody's keeping track of their checklist, he's number 39. <laughs> I thought that was cool. I just thought it was cool that I also got the, uh, the checklist with it. Hey! Cool things. Memories. Memories. All right, so now let's talk about the figure. So here is a broadside, and he's another one of the Autobot triple changers. And here he is in his aircraft carrier mode. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Number 98 or number 86? You be the judge. But anyway, you can see there's not a whole lot to the aircraft carrier mode. It's pretty simple. It's pretty basic. you got some white stripes going down the length of the... Uh, of the deck there, you can see a little, a little bridge right up there, and that's pretty much it. And all of the robot and jet stuff is just hanging out under there. I do like the gimmick here of the uh, spring-loaded cockpit. So when you sit them down, they'll sit flat. I think that's clever. See, even back then, they had some clever tricks. They had some clever tricks. Hey, hey, credit where it's due. Credit where it's due. It's the only thing clever about this figure, honestly, but hey, it's something. And of course, the sticker detailing, and I am going to get him some new stickers because these are looking pretty uh, pretty rough. And this one's upside down. It's not supposed to be that way, but anyway. A little crooked one there, too. And of course, we have the most important thing, the rub sign, and it's a warm day today, so this doesn't really need my help all that much. You can see it's pretty much already going. But there you go. Hey, he's an Autobot. <laughs> I'm going to rub it anyway. <laughs> there we go. So there you have that. He, uh, he slides. 
as aircraft carriers slide. Hooray for sliding aircraft carriers. And for comparison, here he is with Springer. And here he is with Sandstorm. Again, I like to keep the uh, comparisons G1 in these G1 reviews. So, there you have that. And here he is with G1 Prime. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include some weaponry. He has two missiles, which are just done in gray plastic. So, you get two of those. You get his... Plasma Pulse Gun, which again, just done in gray. And you also get the Vibro Axe. Again, just done in gray. Got some nice detail going on there. And as far as storage goes, I mean, the missiles, if you really want to, I mean, his hands are right there. You can always just uh, plug those missiles right there. That can be a thing. That can be a thing you can do. Just have them under there. And as far as the Vibro Axe and the Plasma Pulse Gun, I mean, it's a J1 figure. Who cares about storage? But, uh, but there you go. Hey, things you can do. Things you can do. But there you have the aircraft carrier mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> so I'm trying not to spin him too much because I don't want to scratch this up. And I kind of am. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to. This was hard to find for a good price. I'm not going to mess it up more than it already is. But anyway, let's get down to his next mode. So to get him into jet mode, you lift him up. The cockpit will pop up on its own. If you want to take this section here, you want to hold the nose cone, take this section, bring it up, and there's a little peg and post right there. Uh, you want to come here to the side sections. They will unpeg and fold back to form the wings. Bring that back. This panel will also fold back. You can see that exposes some more landing gear. And again, a little post and port to hold that in place. And then we come back here. We flip up little tail fins and then we flip down these right here and there you go there you have <laughs> there you have broadside in his jet mode and it's the weirdest looking jet mode i have i think i've ever seen and that's just it's just kind of a brick with a nose cone and wings. I mean, that's pretty much what's going on here. It's just kind of a rectangle with, I mean, there's nothing aerodynamic about this. It's just, it's just, it's just, but hey. <laughs> you see the stickers there on the wings. You get some sticker detailing back here as well. Hey, hey, it is what it is. He does have the rolling landing gear, so he can roll. As flying things should. Hooray for rolling flying things. And you can take little missiles here and they can just plug in underneath the wings. Like so. And there you have the complete look. And as far as this thing goes, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about storage, but anyway. There you go. So there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with Sandstorm, yet again, with Springer. And again, just because with Prime. So there you go. So yeah, there you have his uh, jet mode. Very, very weird jet mode, but let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Hey, it's all right. So we're going to, hey, you stay up camera. So we're going to remove these for now. And we're going to flip down these fins, flip these up, and then just rotate his big old blocky feet up. And then we just take these wings, swing them up, and they will just peg in right there, swing that up, take it in, take the nose cone, just bring that back to expose the head. And we just get in here, and we just kind of wiggle his arms out, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go, get over here, wiggle, 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 there we go. 
There we go. That is it. And there you have a broadside in his robot mode. And if you want to talk about blocky bots, ho, oh, broadside has got you covered because he has all the blockiness. I think all of it. He just, he adopted it all. Every last bit of the blockiness is in his possession. And you know what? It's fine. <laughs> well, let's get it close here so we can take a look at that noggin. And see some red there for the visor. And a lot of stuff we've already seen. There are little arms. And the sticker detailing there. Or his legs, his big old feet, and just a whole lot of just his back is just planks. That's all, just planks and nose cone and stuff. And yeah, just all the blockiness. All the blockiness is his. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head does not do anything. Uh, the arms, he just has an elbow joint. Or is that his shoulder? I don't know. It's very high up. It could even be a shoulder. Who knows? It could be an elbow. It could be a shoulder. Who knows? That's one of life's great mysteries. And uh, his toes can move down for no reason that's really apparent. His feet can move individually. So, hey, that's a thing. Sure. Serves no purpose for posing, but hey, things that move, if you need them to move, even though you really don't need them to move because it doesn't serve any purpose. But hey, all things and stuff. So, there you have that. And of course we can give him his weapons, we can give him his plasma pulse gun, come here man. And his vibro axe, there you go, so you can pew pew hack hack, pew pew hack hack, so you can do all kinds of that. As far as the missiles go, um, you could always, um, it's even pictured here on the artwork, you can just have them on his back, you still have those posts that are available to you, you have to bring his wings out a little bit make it work but you know you can plug these back there for storage hey the thing you can do this one gets stuck on me come on there you go have that going on if you want or if you want things to look a little neater you could turn them around and plug them in that way hey that's a thing too things and stuff things and stuff you can do me personally I do actually think I prefer them pointed down just to make things a little neater, but hey, as always, it's yours, display it however you wish. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with Sandstorm, with the Springmeister, and with Prime. So there you go. So there you have a broadside, another oldie but a goodie on this Friday G1 fun day. Um, yeah, broadside is definitely the uh, the weakest of the Autobot Triple Changers, but hey, he has his charm, his big old blocky, blocky charm, <laughs> but there you go. Now if you would like a G1 broadside of your own, uh, just look around, you know, there's always just look around, eBay, wherever, just, just yeah, just look. Just, just look! But you can also get Transformers from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description down below. So you can check that out. You can also check out my G1 playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below. So you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M-Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the G1 broadside. And this is m -Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Ick, be proud. Home in your face. You wanted to see me, sir? No, oh, broadside. It's good to see you. You're the perfect bot for this mission. I thought it'd be best if we approached the Decepticons by the sea. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to do that. You, you don't want to do that? No, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, well, how about an aerial assault? No, I don't want to do that either. You don't? No. No, no I don't. 
what your alt modes are. I know what my alt modes are. I don't want to do either of those things. I work with the most confusing bots. Now, confusing I can do. I don't have to transform for that. 